So, we're out walking all on our own. And where's your daddy? <laughs> His daddy's right here. Is there something you want to say to him, Wimp? Uh, hello, Jakala. Uh, Ha! Uh, the, the kid had something. Uh, there, that's better. Yes. Uh, who forgot to wash his muzzle this morning? You see, it's exactly like I said. No observation of the natural setting, no method, and finally, no dinner. Here in front of you, you have the perfect example of a bad hunter. That's why you've got to learn not to end up like that loser, famished. <gasps> But it's not fair. Why me? My brothers are on their own, taking it easy at the swamp. Mm. Don't worry, my little crocodile. The lucky little fellows will also get an individual lesson. Or well, my name's not Chakala. I'm not going to feed you forever. You must learn to take care of yourselves. <laughs> A red panda! A, a crane! A crane! Or, more exactly, a crane's cry of alarm at the approach of a predator. Good! I see that everyone's been following well. You'll soon know everything about the meaning of animal cry. Some cries are real calls for help. And that was the distress call of what kind of animal? It was the cry of an old bear who has a very bad back. Hello, Baloo. Hmm. Can we have a word with you? Of course! How are... Because it can't go on like this. Babies need some peace and quiet, not this racket. But I didn't even know they'd been born. Congratulations! Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Shouting, noise, honestly. Those aren't the conditions for bringing up a family. Really? But, uh, it was... <sighs> We're sorry to have disturbed the little ones during their nap. Ah! While I rest my back here, you will go and play somewhere else. Lesson number one. I'm waiting. We observe the surroundings. <laughs> I observe the surroundings. It's not fair. There's no games today. No sliding in the mud. Yeah, really not fair. And it's all because of Guzzlegut's private lesson. Well, my little crocodiles, don't we say hello to Tobacco Nanny anymore? That's rubbish. Our dad, Jakala, never said anything about a nanny. Especially not a hairy one. <laughs> but it was the great Jakala in person who asked me to look after you while he gives Guzzleguts his private lesson. Hey, we can look after ourselves. We crocodiles are the kings of the swamp. Haven't you seen our teeth? Yes, not too good. Well, if I've understood your father, you are still not able to hunt or defend uh, uh, yourselves. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he told you that, you jackal. That how you speak to your nanny. <laughs> Can you hear it? <laughs> Hello, Tabaki. <laughs> what are you doing with Chompa? Off you go. We'll carry on with this later. Jakala asked me to look after them while he was away. I was just teaching them how to get rid of a predator. Wasn't I, kids? Yes, 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 Tabakinani. Yes, Your Tabaka Nanny? How long have you been doing this? I'm impressed. Is it difficult? Could you teach me how to do it? Of course, with pleasure. For example, we can learn to wag our tails, can't we? We can lick our fur, too. What do we do when we haven't got any fur? Whoops, sorry. Uh, no, that's for the other kids I look after, the furry kids. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought they'd never leave. Right now it's your turn. Lesson number three. <laughs> Discreetly approach the prey. Did you really think we were going to believe your story about being a nanny? You coward! Attacking defenceless little babies! What do you mean? My poor jaws aren't strong enough to chew through crocodile skin. Don't take me for a fool, Tabaki. You're lying and I can prove it. May I? <laughs> you saw how soft his stomach is. Your fangs could bite through that with no problem. <laughs> 
I want to be with Daddy Jakala and Guzzle Guts hunting turtles. Uh -oh. For the love of a bear, remember that at their age you need to run and play. You'll see. Our babies will do the same much quicker than you think. We've got to stop Jakala from attacking the turtles, but we can't leave the kids on their own. I want to go home. Oh, we are at home, stupid. Hey, silence. I'm trying to think. Not bad. You've managed to shut them up. Right. We'll take everyone along with us. Uh, can I go now? I'm only going to hold you up. Well, well. Do you think you can get away like that? We'll deal with you later. <laughs> right, little croc. You're in luck. The parents are on the bank and the kids are asleep. Lesson number... No! I don't want to hunt babies. I don't want to eat something that's got a shell. That's disgusting. A crocodile going to the sea Said goodbye to his little children In the dust He dragged his feet Because the turtles he was to fight Ah, the crow, crow, crow Ah, the crow, crow, crow Ah, the crocodile To the shores of an isle they've gone That's the story of their plight Aw, look They're just so cute Go on, one each It's not that difficult She smiled at me I can't eat an animal that smiles at me. <gasps> Don't go. Jakala will... Oh, ow! Oh, my back! Of course not. Don't worry, we're taking care of it. I've got to help Mowgli. Can you keep an eye on them, Boo? Jakal is kids. Are you crazy? Ah! I'll never be able to do it. I'm not strong enough. Go on! We need something to keep his mouth open. Wait! <gasps> My baby! Dad's eating guzzle guts! <laughs> shh, shh, it's going to be all right. Mowgli will save everyone. Are you going to open your mouth or not? <gasps> For the love of a bear, you've unblocked my back. <laughs> Thank you, Mowgli. What was it like inside? Was it dark? Weren't you afraid of being eaten? Huh. No way. I expected it. That's lesson number one. Absorb the parameter. Aren't you ashamed of yourself attacking babies? A big fellow like you. I wanted to teach my kids how to hunt, but it's not easy to find a prey the right size for them. Ooh. I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted to say. I won't do it again. But Tobacco Nanny wanted to eat us all. Really? <laughs> I wanted to prove to myself that I could hunt, but I can't even catch a field mouse. <sighs> Hold me back, or I'll get him. Stop it, Dad. <gasps> what did you think you were doing? You left your children alone when there are predators everywhere. Where were you? Yes, well, all of that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't been sent to play elsewhere. Noise, my friends, also means life. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
what you just did. Calm down, Vera. They're going to be all right. We just need to make a new nest. But who's going to keep our eggs safe and warm in the meantime? Me! I can keep them warm if you like. I can keep them warm in the sun. Hmm. It seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Do you think we can trust him to keep them safe? I think so. Very well, then. I'll be very careful. All right, you'd better be careful. Eggs are extremely fragile. Come on, Vera, let's go and get some twigs for the nest. We'll come back very soon. Don't worry, I'll be here. You can count on me. Oh, no, you're going to be cold. <laughs> Mowgli. Can I help you? Uh, uh, no, everything's fine, Cor. Why? You look a bit pale. Are you sure that everything's all right? No, actually, I'm very busy. I have to go. <laughs> Give me those four eggs. <laughs> no, Cor! These aren't yours! Go and get yourself some other food! Oh, look at those clouds. How is Mowgli going to keep our eggs warm now? We have to trust him. Come on, let's speed up. Can you go and get some spiderweb thread to make the nest stick better to the branch? Good idea! I never want to see our nest fall ever again. I won't be long. I'll teach you, Mowgli. Don't worry, little ones. There's not much sun, but I've got a great idea to keep you warm. Thank you. I'm lucky you were there in time. This has got to be the worst day we've ever had. We're going to be all right, my Vera, I promise. Come on, we need to hurry and get back to Mowgli and our eggs. <laughs> Baloo, quick! Uh, uh, what? Baloo, I need your help. It's very urgent. I dropped a bird's nest. I'm looking after the eggs, and Carr is after me. He wants to eat them. Can you keep the eggs warm for me? Uh, what? Uh, what? Be really careful. The 
They're fragile. I need to go back to their parents. I've got a plan to lure Car away. I'll come back soon to pick them up. <laughs> Thank you, Blue. Um, go away. Where have you been? We were worried sick. And where are our eggs? Car chased me to get your eggs, but don't worry, they're safe with my friend Baloo. Car, that nasty egg-eating snake. We need to teach him a lesson, and we have to get him away from your eggs for good. All right, but we need to hurry, Mowgli. The eggs are going to hatch. We've got to get them back into the nest right now. I'll go and get your eggs, and you take these pebbles. You know the eagle nest up on the cliff next to Bee Rock? Well, well, well. What have we here? Oh, uh, Car, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, how are you today? <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to have seen your little friend Mowgli, would you? Uh, no. I, I mean, I mean, yes. I, um, well, uh, <laughs> I, I think I did. Ah, interesting. Any idea where he may have gone? He went that way. I don't understand. Which way, Baloo? That way. <laughs> Something is not quite right with you today, Baloo. I'd like to know what it is. Baloo, huh? everything's fine. I've put the eggs in the eagle's nest, high up on the cliff. Car will never find them that way. Oops. Car, I hadn't seen you. Oh, no. Well, man cub. <laughs> Thank you for revealing the location of my next meal. Thank you for everything. It has been a true pleasure, really. You outsmarted me this time, Car. Well, someday, maybe, you'll have my wisdom and experience, Mowgli. In the meantime... In the meantime, he's going to have pebbles to eat. <laughs> You're going to have to explain all this, Mowgli. I'm just... Uh-oh. What's wrong, Baloo? Oh, no! One of the eggs is starting to hatch. Oh, be careful. If that chick sees you first, it'll think that you're his father. <laughs> oh, no. Follow me. to call them. How about Mowgli and Baloo? Off eggs. 
Where's Bagheera gone now? You know how he likes playing tricks. I think he's hiding. <laughs> Look, he was here, Lolly. And here. And here. I think Bagheera crossed the river on that log. He hates getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon find him. Oh, what's that? Look, Lolly. Do remember me? Come and see what treasure Mowgli's found, Bagheera. Oh, I could have been hiding there all day for all you two cared. That's a man thing. I saw such riches when I lived at court. Do they really have such beautiful things? Oh, yes, they wear them everywhere. On their heads, fingers, arms, even their toes. Do they wear them like this? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Mowgli. The more jewels humans wear, the more important and respected they are. Look at me! I'm Emperor Mowgli. <laughs> I'm Lord of the Jungle. <laughs> Whoa! Please, can I have a turn of the sparkly Mowgli? Afraid not, Lolly. I'm a man cub. So I must wear the man thing. Lali, where are you going? <laughs> to see Baloo. I'm certainly not staying here just to watch Mowgli show off. Huh? <laughs> Make way for me, Lord of the Jungle. It seems your newfound treasure has created a problem, Mowgli. Why won't you share the sparkly with me, Mowgli? Why should I? I found it, so I'm wearing it. The sparkly thing must have drifted downriver from the place where man lives. It would be dangerous if humans came here looking for their treasure. Take it upriver and leave it in the human place where it belongs. I'll take it back sometime. No, Mowgli. Take it back now. Oh, Blue. Please let me keep it. Just for one day. Then I promise I'll take it back. Uh, oh, very well. Just for a day. Mm. You must share it with Lali. Agreed? All right. She can have it later. Huh. <laughs> I am Mowgli, Lord of the Jungle. Jealous because you haven't got a sparkly. <laughs> oh, what's that, Mowgli? My sparkly. Do you like it? No. Oh, it's too bright. Oh, it hurts my eyes. I thought everybody would like my sparkly. <laughs> what is that gorgeous thing? Do you like it, Carl? <sighs> I love it. Hey, my sparkly's hypnotised car. <laughs> that goes to show how special it is. <laughs> it's my turn to wear the sparkly now, Mowgli. Oh, I haven't finished with it yet, Lolly. Mowgli, you've had it long enough. There. Look at me! I'm a beautiful empress! <sighs> Don't lose it. <laughs> oh, I thought that flashy thing belonged to Mowgli. Mowgli and I are taking it in turns to wear it icky. I wouldn't want to wear such a big, heavy, flashy thing. Better be off. Things to do, people to see. Oh, my icky. Oh. I see you like my sparkly car. Oh, yes. Oh, you're hypnotised by it. Wake up, car. The sparkly's gone. No, you needn't shout, young lady. You gave me quite a fright. 
<laughs> Sorry, Carr. You were in a world of your own. Oh, take a look at that amazing shiny thing. Wow! <laughs> I want it! I want it! Oh. I'll wrap the sparkly around your paw while you sleep, Lolly. Oh, I wish I could keep it forever and ever. Oh. Ah, Don't wake her up. Disappeared in the night. I had it when I fell asleep, but it was gone when I woke up. You lost it when you were showing it off in the jungle. No, Mowgli. Lali's telling the truth. I put the sparkly around her paw before she went to sleep. See? I say <sighs> good riddance to bad rubbish. Now, could you two please try to be friends again? Over the sparkly, just like me and Lolly. Lolly, I've just seen the Bangalore playing with the sparkly. The cheeky things took it from me. I'm sorry I was so mean to you, Lolly. Don't worry about it, Mowgli. Let's just go and get the sparkly back. <laughs> Come on, you foolish monkeys. Drop the thing. Look, Lolly, there they are. Ah, company. What a happy coincidence. <laughs> You'll have to catch me first. It's too good for you. It'll look better on me. Ah, I don't think so. Holy we're going to get the sparkly off those monkeys. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> They've dropped it. Careless bandalog throwing away such a treasure. Sheer Khan! Pretty thing, eh? It's us! <laughs> If you want it, you'll have to take it from me, wolf cub. Leave it, Lolly. The sparkly's not worth it. <laughs> I'll teach you. Catch, Lolly! So, you want to play games, eh? Leave her alone! Fight me instead! <laughs> With pleasure, man cub. Oh, have it! She's thrown it away! Grab it! Quick! Before the tiger gets it! <laughs> now, to finish you off, man cub. You're not having the sparkly! <laughs> I don't want the sparkly! I want the man car! I'll bite your heads off if you don't get off! <laughs> You'll have to reach us to bite us! <laughs> You'll never come back from! Quickly, let's find the sparkly before they come back! No, Lolly, let's leave it! I found it! <laughs> let's get rid of it, once and for all! I hope we never see the sparkly again, Lolly. You're right, Mowgli. Let the humans have it. 
We're far better off without man-things. 